hole and we have so many oxygen molecules striking the wall in one second. Assume that the molecules have a velocity of 400 meters per second perpendicular to the wall. So they come perpendicular with a V, 400 meters per second, and that the collision is elastic. In an elastic collision, the molecules simply go back with the same velocity of 400 meters per second, but in the opposite direction. So that's minus V. What is the pressure exerted on the wall? Now, we have the impulse. If we take one molecule, has a mass m, that's mass of one molecule. It has a momentum mv, to the right. After collision, it has momentum minus mv. So the change in momentum for each molecule That's the final momentum, minus mv, minus the initial momentum, which is mv. So that's minus 2 mv. This is the change in momentum of each molecule. So during one second, I have so many molecules, n of them, striking the wall. So the wall applies an impulse to each molecule. The impulse is just delta p. So during one second, the wall applies a total impulse of, since it applies an impulse minus 2 mv to each molecule, and during one second, I have so many molecules striking the wall, it applies an impulse n the number of molecules striking the wall times minus 2 mv, which is the impulse applied to each molecule. Now, this means that if that's the impulse applied by the wall to the molecules, it means that the molecules apply an equal but opposite impulse to the wall. So this means that during one second, the molecules apply an impulse of same but opposite, means n times 2 mv to the wall. Here, this is uh, during one second, the wall applies a total impulse of this to the molecules. The impulse applied by the molecules to the wall is just equal but opposite. In any collision, one object applies an impulse to the other. The first applies an impulse to the second. The second applies an equal but opposite impulse to the first. So this means that 
the first impulse applied by the applied to the wall, it means that the force acting on the wall is the impulse divided by the time. The impulse applied to the wall is n times 2mv. And this impulse is applied during a time of one second. So the answer would be 6.022 times 2 times the mass of an oxygen atom times the velocity, which is 400 meters per second, divided by 1. Now, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. OK, we missed. 10 to the 23. This is just Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number of oxygen molecules has a mass of 32 grams, which is the molecular mass of oxygen in grams. The molecular, molecular mass of oxygen is 32. So, so if I take an Avogadro's number of oxygen molecules, the mass, that's just one mole. And the mass will just be 32 grams. So, so 6.022 times 10 to the 23, which is Avogadro's number, times the mass of an oxygen molecule is simply 32 grams. I change it to kilograms. It becomes 32 times 10 to the minus 3. Times 800. 2 times 400, that's 800. The pressure is simply the force divided by the area of the wall. So this is 32 times 800 times 10 to the minus 3. So this is means times 0 0.8 divided by the area, which is 12 centimeters squared. So this is 12 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. So this is equal to 0.8 over 12, this is 0 0.2 over 3. 0 0.2 times 32 is 6.4, so we get 6.4 over 3 times 10 to the 4, which is 2.1 times 10 to the 4 pascals. So this is a pressure applied to the wall. Thank you for watching.